Out of the box, the AP8000 and AP8100 are uh, really configured for easy communication. There's no security, anything like that enabled. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, we are at a AP8100. The 8800 configuration is identical. So by default, what we have here is two interfaces. The first interface is going to be our uh, 5 gigahertz. Okay, so it's going to be our 8211A, and by default it's actually set to AN, right, and it's going to be set to 40 megahertz, that means you're using the two channels simultaneously, so you could take, get that uh, extra speed from 8211N, so by default it's set to 40 megahertz channel 149, uh, it depends on what country you have, uh, what radio you have, it's going to be set for uh, either the United States or if you have like this is a world unit, it's going to be set to no country. So you could go ahead and set your country, okay, and then commit, okay. Now, uh, that's by default. Now, the VAPs. Now, the VAPs are your actual your SSIDs, your broadcasts. So by default, only one is enabled and it's going to be my wireless network one on the score one that that is for your 8211a or your 5 gig if you look at your 2.4 gig you could see it is the same thing except it's two on the score one that's in the face two all right so let's go ahead and take a look at that just click at it now over here you could go ahead and select what you want it to be either an access point or wds uh, here is your ssid okay you could change that whatever you want uh, if it's going to be broadcast and whatever multicast rate you want. Now, the AP security, by default, there is no security. Okay. Uh, once again, it's just going to broadcast. You want to do security, just click on uh, security, wireless security. Uh, go ahead and select your authentication type. Click edit. And go ahead and select what, whatever you want again. And just go ahead and let's see here. Click OK. Now, it's going to ask you for your key okay type in whatever key you want hit ok and commit now uh, the profile name you could change you could create another one is ap security so if we click on the vap again we'll be able to see that right here we'll be able to select whatever ap security you have now the vaps themselves you could have multiple vaps but uh, in order to take advantage of these vaps these multiple ssids you're really going to need a uh, VLAN switch you're gonna have to enable VLANs to take advantage of them you could have all of these enabled and you could have different securities on all of these that's not a problem but all of them are gonna end up in the same back end meaning that it's not unlike a VLAN where it's a separate broadcast domain all of them are gonna end up on the same back end of the network so uh, VLANs are somewhat re they are required to go ahead and take advantage of these multiple VAPs um, other than that by default this is the AP8100, 8000, and 800 radios. Just uh, ready to broadcast. By default, you could go ahead and make the changes uh, that you want that we discussed. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim. Thank <laughs> you.